The process the scientists have started has its eyes set on improving the recovery time for people with moderate to critical COVID-19 symptoms. The intention is to extract antibodies which are capable of neutralizing the COVID-19 virus once it's administered in a sick person. We are going to take 20 mils of blood from each of these donors. We go in the lab and while in the lab we isolate the B cells and to cut the long story short, try to trick these B cells to produce these antibodies outside the body and put it in a vial and give it as an injection. For one to take part in this trial, you must meet certain requirements, including having the right body weight, right age, and you must have spent at least 28 days after recovering from the infection. We think at about 28 days, somebody should have enough of the IgG, the type we are looking for. Remember, when you are taking it, you also care about the safety of the person donating. So that's why we put those checklists. Inside the hospital, one of the first patients to recover, Laura Nagasha, consented to providing a sample of her blood. If the research will help make this thing go away quicker, then it benefits all of us. The scientists explained that this procedure is being done elsewhere in the world. As we speak, the United States of America has actually transfused over 7,000 units of convalescent COVID-19 plasma to patients with COVID-19. It is also being done in China. Dr. Charles Olaru, the Director of Curative Services at the Ministry of Health, represented the minister. These numbers are definitely going to continue growing. And the earlier we get remedies which can be able to alleviate and improve the outcome of patients, the better. The World Health Organization says at least 20 coronavirus vaccines are currently in development in the global race for a cure. However, it recommends that evaluation for as many vaccines as possible is done because it is still unpredictable how many will turn out to be viable. Walter Mwesije, NTV.